How's it everybody, Celtic Link here, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video, we are kicking off the Grand Tour for the EZA LR GoBros. So this is a Super Saiyan God. I never knew this level of power existed. Alrighty, so unfortunately we do have them turn two. We are taking on the metal cooler core here. So we're going to go ahead and do the best we can to get our setup. We need to get LR5 guys over here um, next to them. And the idea is to get LR5 guys in front of them to give them a boost in attack as well as provide them a little extra defense um, and then allow them to build as necessary while next to them but obviously starting turn two not the greatest especially in an event like this right metal cooler core is a semi short event um, which means that we don't exactly have much room for error in terms of getting them prepped for the final phase There we go, we get an additional super out of the GT duo. And another one, very nice. Alright, so we will get the 18 key here, which means we'll get a little extra defense. Um, Hopefully we can proc an additional super here just for that little bit extra. No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. Either way, we do still get a bunch of attacks here in slot 3, which means we are getting a whole bunch of build. Which will make it that much easier to get their, um, their scatter effect off, so... I'm a bit worried about Kid Goku. I think we changed one too many orbs here, but let's see. Ooh, we do have a really nice setup for the Goro, so we do have a Goku on rotation, and yeah, I knew we weren't going to be able to get the 7 with Kid Goku. Alright, is what it is. Um, and God, Goku dodges super excellent. That's what we need. Perfect. Alright, so as I was saying, we do have a Goku on rotation, we have the 24 key, so this is literally their best first appearance possible, other than having, obviously, a better Link partner. There we go, we get the dodge with God Goku, so 12 million out the gate with Goku, with okay amount of links and we get the additional super all right not bad honestly a pretty good first turn we get the additional super with kid goku And, of course, Kid Goku without his... Oh, 87k, that's not bad. I was gonna say, without his passive up, doesn't get it. It's pretty obvious you're not going to defeat him by yourself. Alrighty, so... I know, kind of scary, we're bringing the LR gods, especially on a 170 lead, but we haven't used them in a while, and I felt like keeping them on the team. We used them on the showcase for the GoBros uh, to keep next to God Goku, and I figured, why not give them another shot? Um, I think we've had a habit, as of showcases late, of using primarily newer units, and I felt like it was important for us to go back and show that, you know, just because you aren't seeing these units all the time doesn't mean they don't still have a use. Use. 
Honestly, we could have run the LR Gods as lead, too, thinking about it, right? Because Movie Heroes Kamehameha is also for the GoBros here, too, so we could have run them as lead, too. Um, too, and that could have worked, but we wouldn't have been able to run the GT duo, which is who we mainly wanted here. Okay, nice. We get the dodge. The LR gods do have a Horning 4 key, so we will have effective against all types here, and we should get at least one extra super, if we're lucky, too. There we go. Hey, there it is. Perfect. All right, the GT Duo actually racking up that attack stat. Very nice. Nice, we're taking double digits with the G2 duo and no super perfect. So we can enter this phase with full health. This is perfect. Ooh, well, okay, maybe not. We have 340k defense. Huh. Alright, we're gonna grab this and hope that that one attack is not a super. And let's grab... Oh, jeez. That did not fall good at all. Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna have to hope God Goku here dodges everything. 170 on a normal. A little scary, but that's also not bad considering these guys, right? Only 340 on defense and nothing else. It's, they survive. That's pretty good. Ooh, look at all these supers we're getting this turn, though. Very nice. Alright, so... LR5 guy is going to go ahead and get the 18 key, which will give uh, God Goku over there a little extra attack power. No additional. It means the super is probably going to hurt us. Yep, there it is. Ooh, 300k. But we are alive, and I think the amount of hits there in slot 2 is enough for him to proc his scatter. I think that's 10 hits. There we go, we get the additional normal, and we get the dodge, yes. And the second dodge, perfect. Oh, we could not have asked for a better setup here. Oh, this is so perfect, okay. All right, so let's start by transforming the gods. Let's do this, Vegeta! Damn you! This is a power greater than that of a Super Saiyan God! I'm going to have fun destroying you! Excellent. So, we actually have a really good setup here, because we can get a nice little heal from God Goku here, and we don't even have to worry about Kid Goku not getting the seven orbs, because we're going to get the 18 key with the gods, which is going to action cancel that one attack that Kid Goku is going to have to take, so this actually really works out in our favor, so I am not complaining in the least bit here. We just have to make sure we dodge the super. There's one. There's two. There we go, we dodge. Okay, we're taking normals all right with the guard and the defense we have, and there's the super, which we dodge. Oh, this is so perfect. We have the setup for the GoBros next rotation because we'll be able to use their active skill. Yes, there it is. All right, we get a normal. And Kid Goku 
That's actually probably good that we don't get seven in that much orbs, rainbow orbs, because now we won't do that much damage. There we go, we get an extra super though. Alrighty, perfect. And now we don't have to worry about Kid Goku taking any attacks. So, ooh, this is such a perfect turn for us. So let's go ahead, let's stand by the GT duo. Please, everyone, lend me your energy. I can't die, not yet. Darn it! Please, Kakarot! I I need your power! You guys! Huh? <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, 400k, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and let's do the Go Bros active. Use every ounce of power you've got in you! Kamehame! <laughs> Oh, not bad. That could have been so much better if we actually got the crit. We got 30-something crit, and somehow we didn't pull it off here, so... I'm worried about the health he has. I would like to have had Goku in front, but I feel like he's gonna deal too much damage. So we'll just put the Goku, uh, Gobros in front. This will actually be good. We can see how much damage they take. Um, we are, like, 80% attack supported here, so 20... Four million. That would have been so much better if we could have put five guys in front, but they definitely would have killed. So 13 million on the final hit there. That is impressive considering they started turn two with very, very minimal time to build up. That is. Oh, wow. I think they they handled this guy really well. They are definitely a little mini cooler, a little more consistent. I'm seeing, you know, obviously makes sense. Coolers. 30%. These guys are 50%. Although I do notice you do really have to push that 24 key. Not getting the 24 key that first turn did set us back a little bit because realistically fully built up, this guy should be over 500k um, start of turn. In fact, more than that. But because we didn't get that build early on by not getting the 24 key, that really did slow down their progress. But it's still alright. So, anyways guys, that is the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let me know what are your initial thoughts on the gobros easy a and if nothing else guys thanks for watching and aloha